in this video we are going to learn about uh, how to use salesforce uh, code builder beta feature along with github so we had a previous video and then uh, we did see how to set up code builder environment and then create a brand new project isn't it and also we talked about how salesforce code builder beta version will help you to develop your uh, your code from anywhere literally all you need is a stable internet connection and then a web browser that's all it is needed you know for you to get started with your uh, development so typically when you want to develop a lightning web component or when if your project you know is, is, is following a source driven development you will <clears throat> you will require a set of tools you will need uh, you know you will need uh, vs code microsoft vs code uh, editor you will need uh, 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 extension uh, salesforce uh, salesforce code extension you need uh, salesforce cli etc you know for you to get started with your development right so this code builder beta version is going to change the way how we have been doing coding so that's what we're going to see it again so the the previous video link is also given in the description you can also watch how to you know use code builder and then uh, create a create a new uh, project uh, brand new project but now we are going to you know we are going to do the same but we are going to use an existing code base you know from github get that code base downloaded and then you know get started with our development so that's what we are going to do it <clears throat> so let me just show you the the source control the github source control and the code base that i want that i'm going to download from github and then we can move forward yeah so this is my my repository my my repository this is my private repository this is uh, this is where i have the code base so it has multiple components it has you know few lightning web components it has uh, object metadata types etc etc so this is what i'm going to download in my environment and uh, and you know set it up so two things uh, one is we are also going to use two different orgs so i'm going to use this code builder org where i would like to you know install the code builder or set up the code builder and the environment and then what about the development that i'm going to do against so that will be you know on this org you know creative unicorn so you will just see how we can do you know both and uh, you know and then continue with our development so let me just go back here The first thing is we need to have this code builder uh, app exchange product installed so i'm in this org curious raccoon right uh, let me just log into curious raccoon first all right so i'm in this uh, code builder org called curious raccoon so this is the this is the or which I'm going to use to install the code builder so that I can set up an environment and then connect to this environment creative unicorn and you know get my development started so that's the that's the idea so how did I get this code builder installed very simple all you have to do is right you have to just go and then uh, find this product from app exchange so in app exchange uh, you can just search for code builder it is in beta version now so search for code builder you will see a product from salesforce you can just see it right here so let it load so you can just get this product and install you know get this product to you know to get this package to install right on your org so when you click on get it now you will be redirected to login uh, login.salesforce.com where you can just punch in the username and password of the org where you wanted this code builder right uh, code builder package to get installed so since it is already installed in my org i don't have to do that but in your case if you're doing it for the very first time just ensure that click on get it now and then get this get this uh, package installed right so once this is done the next step is we have to uh, we have to connect to the org we have to you know create an environment and connect and connect to the uh, development org uh, so we'll just click on get started and you have two options you know new project and import from github in our case uh, i already have uh, already have uh, the code in github this is what i wanted to you know download into that uh, environment that is about to you know about to set up so this is this is having you know a piece of code for us to get started so let me just click on this import from github so 
right here it is asking for github url let me go to my github repository and if i go to code and then i do have uh, the github url let me copy that let me go back here let me just put it right here so it is trying to authenticate in my case this repository this repository is a private repository so certainly i need to authorize so in a, in a typical uh, typical um, projects right salesforce projects we cannot we don't keep our source control base right open or public right so it will certainly be private and that's that's demonstrate that right i just made it uh, made it you know private so that you will have an additional step to authorize uh, you know with github if it is a public repository you will not go through this step you can just you know simply punch in the url and then click on next and then move forward right so since this is a private repository i have to authorize myself uh, and then you know connect to the github to get this uh, get this code downloaded let's click on authorized with web -up, github so it's trying to authorize it will take you to the you know it will take you to the login page of github and then you know and then you can just punch in your password to get yourself authorized uh, in my case it is it is trying it is reusing my my previous session so that you know i didn't get that login page but in your case if you are doing it for the very first time you will be taken again to the github login page and then you just have to punch in your password github password that's all it is so once that is done you will just get a tick mark to inch to to say that you know you are connected to this github or you are you can able to access or salesforce can able to access you know code from this github repository now let's click on next and this is where you know i need to this is where i can connect to an org against which i want to do the development so we decided to develop against this org right uh create your unicorn so let's go here let's go ahead and then click on this connect a development org. i'll be taken to login.salesforce.com and this is the you know the username reader.vm at creative unicorn i do have this right here i click yeah i can just log in of course i just wanted to enable access so now two things right so now we know that we can have code builder in one environment and then i can have another environment right against which i can do the development so it is not necessarily that both the environments need to be same or both the orgs need to be same okay so that's the key point to or a key takeaway from here so now of course you know i just got this org connected perfect my step two is completed let me give a friendly name to call this um to call this development org i'm just going to say it is uh, uh, prm dev org let's say create now it is time you know salesforce is trying to set up an environment for me so what salesforce will do is right when it creates an environment and uh, it will ensure that all the required softwares for lightning web component development or for source driven development right like your microsoft vs code salesforce code extension you know uh, vs code extension uh, salesforce cli node java whatever is needed for you to kick start with your development everything will be available in this environment that is about to get created and when the environment is created you will get this sftx project this entire code base you know directly copied from github into this environment so that you can start from coding you know right away let's wait for this environment to get created then i'll just walk you through you know the code that has been downloaded from github and what we can do as a as you know as a as a next step yeah typically it takes you know a minute or two for uh, for creating this environment once this is done you will get a launch button so let's click on launch while this is launching right since this is in beta uh, you have uh, you have maximum 20 hours to use this you know environment that has been created for you either 20 hours you know 20 hours of usage or you know 30 days from the date you know you created this environment whichever comes earlier whichever is comes earlier right uh, the, the the environment gets purged yeah so if you are if i use this environment continuously or if i use this environment for 20 hours right uh, in this in five days then on the sixth day i won't see this environment this environment will not be you know usable for me or if i don't use this at all you know i keep it uh, as is for 30 days so the very next day you know you will not see this environment right available for you so it's in beta so that's all this limitations and constraints are right now you know in this beta version we will see what new announcements that that you know salesforce is going to uh, open up when when this version right it is made 
when this version is made publicly available. So yeah, now the code builder uh, uh, code builder of the environment is, is starting up. Let's wait for the environment to get started. Perfect. As you can see, a new project has been a new environment has been set up for us. It says endive iPhone find UDA. So this is the you know the exact code that got downloaded from the GitHub. So you can just see uh, these are the scripts that I have uh, scripts you know available, and uh, you can find uh, components. For example, I do have. Uh, I just open Lightning Web Comp. I do see components. I do see objects. So the entire metadata you know it got downloaded from the GitHub, right? So now. Uh, what we can do is right we can deploy this components you know into the development org which is which is this right because this is the development org that we connected isn't it so we'll we'll just see that how we can deploy this components in the next video for now our focus you know is to set up the environment isn't it so that we have just accomplished so what did we do we just uh, you know we just uh, get this code builder beta version you know a package installed from app exchange right once that is done we were able to download the code from github number two number three when you download you can just set up the environment against which you wanted to do the development so that also we did while we while we you know uh, while we import the project from github right and as you can see when i click on launch i see the code downloaded from github for me to get started with the coding all right so in the next video we will just see how to deploy the code from here you know uh, to the development org and then get started with building more components deployment all such things